Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 4th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we did rally all the way up to 58,564. So, um, well, if you want action in the markets, then the cryptocurrency market is basically where most of the action basically is occurring at this current stage. So we have these massive drops of 20-30% in most cryptocurrencies, and then you have all of a sudden these rallies of 10-15%. Um, and uh, yes, uh, these are very, very risky and volatile markets to say the least. But well, this recovery from Bitcoin is very impressive. It looks like we are just uh, buying time here before we go and test these uh, previous highs up here at the, uh, the uh, 65K. And if that breaks, then we'll most likely head towards the 70K. So we're trading just above the 50 moving average. The 50 moving average is uh, holding at this current stage. And if you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still the negative territory well above the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming very bullish, and so and so is the RSI. If you look at the weekly chart, which basically uh, gave us this warning of uh, this fall here when we have the crossing of the of the, the MACD of the signal line, we have this massive fall towards support, which is technically down here at the 20 exponential moving average. We have been rallying, we're still underneath the signal line, but it is slowly turning to the upside. This, this is the weekly, so it takes longer basically to move. But uh, we can see the stochastic is crossing the signal line, becoming very bullish. The CCI is heading back towards 100 and becoming bullish. And the RSI is technically flat at this point at the 64, which is fairly low for Bitcoin. As you can see here, we were all the way up at 97 in the weekly chart before we basically broke down. So. Compared to that, there's a lot of room to the upside, and we could see this rally all the way up towards the top of the bullion band before finding a major support, which is at the 68k. So let's look at Litecoin. No, not Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, sorry. So we just started the weekly, uh, weekly, and as you can see, we are getting fairly parabolical here in Ethereum. If you look at just the bullion band, we are basically an entire candlestick outside of the bullish band. And uh, this, these parabolic moves, uh, impressive as they are, they are, well, as you scroll out, nearly vertical. And uh, that is uh, not something that is sustainable, uh, unfortunately. Um, at some point, this is going to crash to the downside. And uh, if you look at, for example, the Fibonacci retracements, for this, then we could see this drop towards the bottom of this candlestick, which is the first Fibonacci retracement down here at 2183. So we're trading at give or take 3263 at this current stage. So if you look at the daily, we can see that it's even more, <laughs> um, well, parabolical here. We're at 62. It's not that extremely high, even though it's significantly overbought. Technically, the otherwise are very bullish. But as I say, these moves they do not. They are not sustainable, and they will basically fall at any point. So buying at this point is extremely risky. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is uh, just buying time here, just above the middle of the Bullinger band. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point. Uh, MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is heading towards 100 and becoming, it's at 52 at this point. So I guess uh, at 100 it becomes bullish and the RSI is at 59. So there's a lot of room to the upside. If we rally here, we'll mostly find it's a major resistance at the 1.4. Eight uh, break below the 50 moving average opens the door to 1.06. So let's look at Litecoin. Sorry. 
So Litecoin had a really good day today. We rallied all the way up towards uh, 296 before uh, pulling back quite slightly. So at this current stage, uh, technical indicators are all turned around. They are very bullish and it looks like we are heading towards the top of the bullish band, which also is the top of this range. And that's roughly at 308 uh, dollars. And uh, there is a lot of room still in, to the upside. There's 64. And uh, as I said, most of these cryptocurrencies, they can go all the way up towards 80, 81, and even 90 before they basically uh, break to the downside. So our sign numbers are be can become extremely high for most of these cryptocurrencies before they fall. So as well, they can get stay outside of the bullish band also for a fairly long time before snapping towards uh, support. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has rallied up towards uh, 113 and has given most of those gains back. We're trading at 107 at this current stage. Uh, we are in a very bullish run. We fell, found support here at the 20 exponential, and since then we have basically been rallying. Taking the English have all turned around and uh, are pointed to uh, higher levels. And at this point, we will most likely find a major resistance uh, up here at 116, which is also the previous highs here. Break below here, 20 exponential, middle of the bullish bound down here at the 90, 89, 90, give or take, will most likely be major support break below here open the door all the way down to the 50 at 65 so let's look at dash so dash has also rallied today we are trading at uh, 300 and uh, 336 technical leaders are all very bullish and target here will mostly be the top of the bullish band up here at uh, 367 which is also the previous highs here uh, uh, Fall back from here, we'll most likely find support at, uh, at give or take 300 or the 20 exponential moving average in the middle of the bullish band. And uh, well, that's about it. Most of these cryptocurrencies are just recovering in the V-shape recovery and uh, people are just, well, buying all of this. And uh, most of the action is basically in these cryptocurrencies at this current stage. If you look at other uh, parts of the market like indices and uh, stocks, they are fairly flat at this current stage and while cryptos are basically rallying. So let's look at From. So From is uh, struggling at the middle of the bullish band. We are we have rallied above and gave most of those gains back. Technically indicators they are well they are fairly bullish. And MACD is still underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bullish. The CCI is just crossing zero and heading towards 100. So it's still uh, very bearish at this point and uh, RSI is flat so we need to uh, get across above the middle of the bullish band in order to go back towards the top here at 0 0.16 break below the 20 open the door to the 50 moving average at 0 0.10 so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much